Today at shopdap.com, we're going to talk about 12 tips for removing a suspension on your Volkswagen or Audi. Now, on occasion, sway bar end links can be difficult because they have a triple square in the end links. Now, I've lost my triple square, so what I'm going to do... Make sure it doesn't leave us hung up. That's already off. Tip six, make sure you have your chrome impact socket on your 13 millimeters to take out your strut top bolts. Now we're gonna take out our second one. Now when your battery dies, tip number seven is to just get this bolt removed. Since I don't want to wait for my impact to charge, I'm gonna handle this back bolt a little bit differently. Tip number two, Oh, that was a nice spare battery. Huh? What, what tip? I don't know what tip we're on. Now that we've hit it with a hammer, we can continue with our rear suspension. You might have thought we were gonna lower this car with lowering springs, but I prefer my cars to handle like shit and ride worse than they did before we started. There we go, lowered it. To take off these strut tops, you are gonna use your chrome sockets. Spin it and not do anything. There we go, you just gotta hold it. Once you completed that, take that strut top off, you can take this slide off and then you can just. <laughs> Today at shopdap.com, we're gonna show you how to put this rear subframe in a Mark V. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's as far as she's going to get. Tune in next week to where we'll show you how to put more things in more things. <laughs> Nathan installed the subframe. You're welcome, guys. Thank, say thank you, Nathan. <laughs> that completes our 15 suspension tips. Make sure you follow along. Use eye protection, too. Safety. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 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 <sighs>